My name is Bertha, and I work part-time delivering papers. I don't know why I hoard. I just don't get it sometimes. I walk through that house and I say to myself, what's wrong with me? Why do I have this house like this? It's disgusting, dirty, sad. I don't want nobody to even come here. I don't even want my kids to come here. I'm Eric, and Bertha is my mother. When you first pull up to the driveway, you get this feeling of, wow, what has it become? You see the porch, it's just so overwhelming. It, it almost looks like it's a wall gonna fall on top of you. I have four bedrooms, kitchen, dining, and the living room. I can't get in any of them. They're all filled, everyone's filled. She sleeps in her car sometimes, you know, that's horrible. Sometimes I sleep in my car because I don't want to deal with crawling all over that stuff just to get upstairs to get on my bed. My name is Phil, and I am Bertha's son. I can't help but feel miserable every time I go there. It's uninhabitable. You can't live there. A human shouldn't be able to live there. She got confronted by the neighbors. Somebody called the police and told them to come over here and look at all this stuff. Then they were saying I had garbage in the yard and I had to go to a magistrate. He kept saying, do you want to go to jail? I could put you in jail. I couldn't imagine my mother in jail because of the horde. But I understood through the eyes of the judge that it's dangerous. I feel afraid because I don't want to go to jail just for something like this. When my mom passed, well, I was 16. She used to have epilepsy, and then they discovered she had cancer. So she suffered a lot. And then my dad died five years later when I was 21. When my dad died, that was really, really hard. I think that had the big trigger on her downward spiral to hoarding and needing things to make her feel whole again, I believe. Got married, got divorced. My best friend died. My younger brother died, then my older brother died. I put flowers on about nine graves. <laughs> it's crushing, to be honest with you, but I just, I feel so bad for her because it just doesn't make any sense to why someone would, would want to do that to their home. Maybe all these things replace people that I've lost. That's what I'm thinking, maybe, I don't know. It was almost like a darkness, like a shroud, you know, that, that consumed the house, like a, like a cancer that just grows and grows. Why did I let this house get like this? There's just so much stuff. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. My name's Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme hoarding cleanup specialist. Bertha, we are all here for you today, okay? You're facing a pretty serious crisis, right? She has a lot of things against her that are creating this hoard. Unfortunately, the city's come down on her now, and she's facing an absolute jail sentence if she does not get this cleaned up in the next couple days. So Bertha, look, you're not a criminal, okay? But we are gonna push and challenge you a little bit to let go of this stuff, because that's what got you in this position in the first place. Okay, so you guys all ready to get started? Yeah. 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 All right, let's get to it. All right.
that chair, all oh, that could go, those, these, this. Okay. All of the stuff here that's been buried for years, you're not even gonna look through, you're gonna let go. Perfect. <laughs> I gotta check those pans though right over there. I don't know how those got back there. That is my good set. If it's your I good don't... set, why would it be in the backyard? I don't know how that got back there. That's my clothes, Eric. That is my clothes. Hey, Eric, that's my rubber bands for my- What, in the brown in box? That... Yes. No, it was all broken glass. Answer I want question. some of those rugs, Eric, the Answer pink them. ones. Bertha? Where's the bunt pan? I had a green bunt pan. Bertha, we have to get moving, and we can't sit here, and you having to be in every pile, because you can't be. Bertha, this is the part where we talked about challenging you. My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Do you want to be in a clutter-free jail cell? talking to your family through a plexiglass window, or do you want this stuff? Let's get this screen out of here. We could get another bad guy standing here, another guy in here thrown in the bag. stuff in a bag that I thought was salvageable, well, well, that was, I wanted. It was, sitting there. it was sitting there. You should have put it to the side. I, they they told that. me they were putting it on the side. All right, well, it got lo it got lost. It, it, yeah, it so got Cole, you don't give a crap about what I thought anyway. I don't think she does appreciate it. She just thinks that we're just trying to throw her stuff out. There's no reason to get upset over I am it. mad because you threw stuff away I didn't want to be thrown away. You said you were putting it on the side, and you didn't. You lied. You can't even honestly tell us what it was. I don't care. Was. I don't care. With her getting mad at me, I kind of just, just shake it off. But what would affect me is if she was sitting in jail. That would hurt me the most. We know it hurts you to do this. It, it's rough on you. No it, kidding. Well, it's rough on, on everyone else who has put up with it all these years, too, yeah, as well. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that is right. I just don't understand why she wants to live like this. It's not right. I have a basement. What? <laughs> Is it stuffed like your house was stuffed? No. I mean, it's Bertha. sitting in there, but it's not stuffed. Can we go look at it? No. Why not? Well, what, what bothers you so much about the basement? It's full. So but is the house. Who cares? <laughs> Your house was full, too. I know, but that mold was bad down there. OK. Well, we need to see it. Oh, god. All right. Are there lights oh, down here? It stinks. Oh, my gosh. You're not kidding. Where does this go? She's got a whole bottom level of hoard that we didn't even know about. This literally goes the full length of your house. Holy And the full width. How? I cannot believe this hoard is this much worse than we thought. And we don't have time. I know. Hey, you guys, we have 30 minutes, OK, until the city inspector gets here. OK. I wasn't sure what Chris was going to be looking for on his inspection. We got the downstairs looking good, but really what they were concerned about was the complaints the neighbor had, and that was from the outside only. When I walked up and saw the outside, I was very impressed with what was accomplished in the last two days. Hiya. Hi. Corey, how are you doing? Hi. Hey, Bertha. Hi. Good how to you see doing? you again. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah. 
Is that enough to satisfy the judge, you think? I would think it's definitely enough to satisfy the judge, and I'm sure he would be be more than happy to dismiss the charges. Oh, good. Now you, ha you just have to work on keeping I it this I will keep way. it this way, definitely. I feel happy inside. <laughs> I hope in the future that she continues to do what she did today, because I know it took a lot for her to do this. We did a lot of progress, but she still has a long way to go. The house still has a completely full basement, the upstairs, and two bedrooms on the main floor that we never got to. Despite all the work that she still has to do, her prognosis is very good. And I believe that this is one case that's going to have a really good outcome. I'll keep working at it. I have to. I don't want to be a hoarder anymore. Hi, thanks for being a fan of hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.